so as you read through the rest of chapter 7 and you start getting into chapter 8, you see more and more and more of the problem being laid out by Nephi, and these chief judges, these members of some of the, the judges, rather, and the Gadian robbers in the crowd trying to incite the rest of the people to take him so that he can be judged according to their corrupt law, because he will for sure be found guilty based on that law. So we've got all of this problem being established. I love the fact that finally in verse 14 we get the solution. Chapter 8, verse 14, yea, did he not bear record that the Son of God should come, and as he lifted up the brazen serpent in the wilderness, this is speaking of Moses, even so shall he be lifted up who should come. So the solution to all of these cultural corruptions and these personal pride issues and, and iniquity and sin comes back to one answer it's the coming of the Son son of God. Look at verse 15, and as many as should look upon that serpent should live, even so as many as should look upon the Son of God with faith, having a contrite spirit, might live even unto that life which is eternal. And then Nephi invokes a serious uh, list of the law of witnesses. Moses didn't only testify of these things, but also all the holy prophets from his days, even to the days of Abraham. And Abraham saw his coming and was glad, verse 18, not just Abraham only, but there were many before the days of Abraham who were called by the order of God, yea, even after the order of his son, and this that it should be shown unto the people a great many thousand years before his coming that even redemption should come unto them. Then he invokes Zenos in 19, Zenic, Isaiah, Isaiah, Jeremiah in 20, and he keeps going. Uh, Verse 22, Lehi, Nephi, almost all of our fathers, they've testified of the coming of Christ and have looked forward and have rejoiced in his day which is to come. And by the way, that's what got Lehi driven out of Jerusalem, he tells you at the beginning of verse 22, is his testifying of Christ. 